Bitcoin and Ethereum, what's his next move? Let's find out in the charts, shall we? Oh boy, my goodness. Well, Bitcoin is on a rally finally, but is this rally uh, a bull trap? We're gonna talk about that and more in today's episode. And uh, man, it's, it's not a good picture here for Bitcoin. I'll admit that, right? It's not looking good, but hey, you know what? We, we could not expect sunshines and lollipops for Bitcoin forever. Right, it uh, does have cycles, and eventually those cycles come and bite us in the butt. I really didn't think that we were going to have the cycle this fast, this soon, with such a little um, pump, um, no blow off top on Bitcoin. This is a little, little strange for me, but hey, uh, the market dynamic has changed, and we have to accept it and and move on, right? Um, and and we we have to do with, deal with what we see right now. And what's going on is that uh, things look really dark for both Bitcoin and Ethereum right now. There's a chance, of course, that this could turn around, but it's unlikely. So we're going to assume that there is no turnaround and how to trade. We're going to talk about how to trade that in today's episode. So make sure you sit down, hit the like, bell button and all. And don't forget to subscribe. And let's head over back to the charts. Well, um... As I've said, right, I'm looking at this thing and I'm going, whoa, right? Um, we could, we had to help, we had to hold this line here pretty much, right? We didn't. And um, like even a 44 would have been okay, right? If we held the 44, but no, nope, we didn't hold anything and we went through and then we bounced off of previous support, major support here uh, down at the 41, $40,000 mark. Now, um, looking at this, right? Uh, let me just move some of the the the, uh, the messiness that's happening here. Right on the four hour, we got a buy signal with the Rock and Brainer um, tra uh, trade signal uh, software. Uh, if you're interested in the Rock and Brainer software, right? Um, uh, Rock and Brainer is selling them right for uh, you know right here at uh, at these prices. So if you're interested to try this out and uh, give it a shot you can see it's a straightforward hey this is where you buy right this is where you sell real straightforward for you easy to easy to mark easy to see right and you can decide whether or not uh, to hit the buy or sell button when you have these markers right um not not too complicated for you anyways and then you know um if you want to reverse the, the position where right, you can once it turns to the sell so if you're hitting the buy you can always wait for the sell button but um sell marker but um, I, I really think this thing has got some legs to go as high as now let me just move the the fib now because we're gonna have a new level um high right now we're probably gonna head up to 38.2 probably not gonna stay there gonna bounce probably around there because the 38.2 is not at a, at a good at a at a clean location if we head back to um to whoops sorry we head to uh hack, from hakenashi candles to uh candlesticks regular candlesticks japanese candlesticks you can see all right, right there is um there's no right uh if you look left right once we get into 38.2 we can easily slide up all the way to fifty-five, forty-five thousand dollars, and um, and touch this uh, closer to the um, sixty-one point eight, where we could touch the red uh, trend line, downward sloping trend line. So this is where, if you're looking to exit your positions, if you have some longs, you should exit them up up here, um, and then you know, uh, yeah, then watch this thing probably roll over. Now, is not is it possible to continue higher? Yes, it is possible to continue higher. It's just on on a likely situation. Here, let me just set that fib properly there. Right, unlikely situation at this point point in time. Not impossible, but unlikely. If we break above the fifty three, if you're scaling out of your uh, long term positions, right, uh, because of this downward spiral, um, you would have to scale back in if we get above the 52, 53 and close a four hour pull above the 52 or above 53 ish area because that's when the market has changed, dynamic has changed and we probably had it headed higher. Unlikely at this point. 
So we have to like accept that and uh, go with the most likely scenario, which is that then we're going to bounce off of this trend line or lower and then head straight down south. Um, not a good feeling, not a great thing, but that's just where we are. Uh, once again, um, DJ15 token is still available. It's now at a, at a low, low price. You can actually buy a small amount and join the Telegram group. Um, right uh, by uh, purchasing some DJ15 tokens, only 0 0.05 uh, of the, token, the tokens can get you into the Telegram group, so not much. You can find it on Uniswap 2. And also, when I when I when you purchase these tokens, I, I'm also all the revenue that I gain, a percentage of my revenue, 12.5, 12.5 percent of my total revenue, will be going every quarterly to buy up the tokens and burning them. So uh, make sure you're part of that. So even the revenue from this will be portion of the revenue from this will be going up to buying up the tokens and burning them. Thank you very much um, for uh, supporting the channel by clicking on one of my affiliate links. Okay, so let's head over to Ethereum. I'm on the 15 minute, so with a Japanese candle, so you can see a lot of like uh, chopping around. You'll find that this thing, this uh, this indicator works much better and smooths it out a little bit better with less signals on the ha uh, Haganashi candles, right? Even though it looks, this still looks a little bit choppy, it is a lot less signals uh, than you would find um, on uh, on regular candlesticks. Uh, it was interesting. I was looking at this. I saw this move here, and I thought, oh, wow, it's breaking higher. And um, I, I didn't get a chance to trade it. I knew this thing was going to pump. And once it broke above this, it was clear, break, um, it was trying to break, trying to break, failed this time, but it looked like it wanted to break this time, and it did, and here we are. We've broken a bend above this downward sloping uh, nightmare. <laughs> the buy signal came um, pretty much um, well before my my. I thought the my buy signal was going to come, and so you can see you are uh, in profits majorly if you take the rocket brainers signal. Um, and you can see that this thing's got a room to fly, fly probably um, up until this area right here, around uh, 30, oh, 3300, 3400 approximately, $3,381, or $70 actually. And then uh, we're going to probably see something like um, some, some consolidation, maybe a fall back, and then we could probably go high as high as 30 Thirty-six hundred dollars um, on Ethereum. Uh, looking at the Fibonacci levels, let's see what uh, they're saying from us from top to bottom here. You can see, um, oops, we can see that the seventy-eight point six is pretty much right where you know, right where the we're going to see some sort of resistance or close to it, and the, and the sixty-one point eight is also uh, really close to it. So a little. Uh, Excuse me, sorry about that. A little tired. Um, yeah, so you can see this thing maybe even just pump a little bit above the 61.8 and then we are headed uh, back down. Okay, let's head over to the dominance and see what's going on. Yes, the dominance is coming down. That's great. Oh my goodness. It, thank God it was not a failed move because a fast move in the opposite direction. Um, when we, we failed to break through here, um, we're uh, actually just tightening now the bands so that if the bands really tighten let's go let's go to weekly see how how the bands are on the weekly if they really tighten that re that is that means it's going to be more explosive more tightening they get the more of explosive move it will be um you can see this tightened really heavy and then we broke down and it kind of gave us a psych uh, uh, rather wear nike and then boom it just collapse absolute collapse right it looked like oh my goodness we're going the wrong way but that was a failed move and the failed move was because it should look like it was going to break out higher right because we broke from this high and this was a failed move it was a fast move in the opposite direction and yeah so hopefully we don't see another nightmare situation like that down here on the weekly, this looks good. Um, we're staying below the 13 EMA and we're headed in the downward direction. So 
you know, the little old lady, is, she's happy. She knows that, uh, you know, uh, they, they can get some serious altcoins um, as they pop off and get more Bitcoin and store those Bitcoins away for the day. The little old lady can use those Bitcoins at the grocery store and she'll be like, pinching those Satoshis heavy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and I really do believe the little lady will be uh, spending her her Bitcoin at um, at the grocery stores eventually, because Bitcoin's real. Bitcoin's here to stay, and you need to be a part of it.